here on the front line, war could break out again at any moment between Azerbaijan and Armenia. Tensions remain high on the 26th anniversary of the Khojula massacre, where Armenian soldiers killed hundreds of Azerbaijani civilians. They should withdraw their troops from the front line and restore the independence and territorial integrity of Azerbaijan. If this is not done, the Azerbaijan army, which is the strongest army of the Caucasus, is capable of liberating the occupied lands under the leadership of the president, the supreme commander, at any moment. The standoff over the Karabakh region has lasted nearly three decades in a conflict that has claimed more than 30,000 lives and displaced over one million people, mainly Azerbaijani. We want to give a message to the world that we will never give up our lands. We will always fight for that as long as we live, young and old. And while a ceasefire was signed in 1994, it was only two years ago, the two countries last fought over occupied Karabakh. During four days of heavy fighting in April 2016, Azerbaijan managed to wrestle some of its territory back and capture several strategic positions from the Armenian military. Hundreds were killed before both sides agreed to silence their guns. Here in Talish, about two years ago, after fierce fighting with the Armenians, the line of contact between Azerbaijan and Armenia here in no man's land remains quiet for today, but just two years ago, heavy fighting took place where Azerbaijan was able to successfully capture strategic areas overlooking the, uh, the Armenian military that's just about 70 meters away from where we are right now. Despite four United Nations Security Council resolutions demanding that Armenia withdraw, the occupation continues. We have not seen any positive steps from the opposite side. We're still continuing our work because we don't want to have another war. As diplomatic efforts falter, Azerbaijan has been rapidly modernizing its armed forces. The recent recovery in oil prices has allowed Baku to start spending more on its military, allocating nearly $1.6 billion on its military budget this year. The guns on both sides of the dividing line in occupied Karabakh are silent for now. But that could all change as officials in Yerevan and Baku remain deadlocked. Ube Shabander, Azerbaijan, TRT World.